Hi guys, it's Jessie Holton here, joining you at long last. Oh, it has been forever since I have crafted with you guys and I miss it so much. But we are heading back into a little bit of a normal routine now. The boys are due to start back at daycare and kindy this coming week. Ryan just did his orientation today for his new kindy. So they are both really excited to start back. They have missed their little buddies so much. And I have really missed being able to have a bit of spare time. Hi, Julie. So um, I have two orders here that I haven't even unpacked yet um, because just haven't had a chance. No crafting for me. It's been busy, busy with two little boys home. But uh, I thought Ryan is having a sleep at the moment and Luke is around at his nanny's house having a play date. So, um, hi Sherry. So I thought that I would open up these orders and go through them with you. So one of them is Ornate Garden and then the other one is my pre-order from the new catalogue, which is really exciting. There are so many beautiful things in the new catalogue. Hi Matthew. I'm good, thanks. How are you? Um, so, yeah, lots and lots and lots of good stuff coming in the new catalogue. It is absolutely gorgeous. And if you don't already have a demonstrator who you order through and you'd like a copy of the catalogue, then just let me know and we can work something up for you, for Aussies. Uh, so I'll flip you around and we'll start unpacking all this gorgeous stuff. And, you know, now that I've hit live... Ryan is going to wake up any minute now, but we'll see how far we can get through before he wakes up. <laughs> okay, so, just flip you guys I don't think I need to be plugged in anymore. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So I've had a bit of a cough. Hi, Karen. Hi, Monica. We did end up going and getting tested just because, to make sure that it was nothing and it wasn't it wasn't anything it was just um just a common cold okay so i've got a couple of things mixed in here together because i did get another order and i've just shoved it in on top of this so <laughs> everyday staples white card stock oh there's my scissors that i misplaced i've been looking for those <laughs> Um, and I did manage to get myself an extra embossing buddy because my old one, I got embossing pretty much straight after I joined Stamping Up, which I've been a demo now for four and a half years. So this is my original embossing buddy. It's four years old, about, and it has had a hard life, but it's still got plenty of use left in it. There's still lots of powder in there, but I thought while they were... Um, just continuing. I just grab a spare to keep because I do love embossing. Adds so much glam to a project. Alrighty, so I got some of these Gilded Gems. Now, I've got to admit, I might have a slight problem with these gems. Okay, I've just got a couple packets there. Hi, Laura! <laughs> um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hang on, let me get a... Get a my cough is almost gone. It's just when I talk too much. Can it pops up? So, soup, excuse me while I suck on a lozenger while I'm talking to you. Okay, so this is the ornate garden sweep. And I got double of the ribbon because I thought the ribbon was really pretty. And I was going to use this for my class. I was going to do an online class at the end of May. No, the end of April. But I didn't get this until midway through May anyway, or, or the start of May. So it came too late for me to organise doing anything. And it's just sat there because I haven't organised anything at all. I have had done not much crafting. I will show you these. These are super cute. I used up the rest of my... Um, Oh, that one doesn't have a little thing on it. <laughs> there we go. That's a better one. <laughs> so I've been using up all my old products 
um, my brother and my mother-in-law both asked for lots of um, birthday cards. So I thought that I would use up all of my old um, retiring stuff. So I've used up all my my beautiful black foil, the glimmer paper, the starburst punch, the um, shimmery embossing powder. I don't know if you can see the glitter in that. Um, and this paper is retiring as well, the Bonanza Buddies. And there is a Let's Celebrate You in the Bonanza Buddies stamp set, but this one is actually from the Itty Bitty Greetings. Hi, Juanita. So, they're really cute. I've made a whole stack of those to use up a bunch of products. So, I have done that while I've been at home, but it's just been in little teeny weeny bits here and there. Okay, so... What did we get? Let's open up some of these packages. Hi, Paula. Because I'm... I can't remember what's in here, but I thought some of the dyes... I mean, there's some pretty label dyes or something, wasn't there? Oh, they're cute. Very, very fussy. But very cute. Alrighty, good, good start. So this is how I keep my dies. I like to have the the name at the back and the dies at the front, so that way when I um I just use a rubber band to keep them with this with the stamps, and then I can see what's with it. So that'll just go on my shelf like that. Okay. A little embossing folder. This is cute. And I have a whole heap of stuff as well that is just about to retire. So stay um stay tuned for that. I've got like two huge bags full. Hi Michelle. Oh no worries, gorgeous. Have a good night at work. Hi Melanie. Um, so this is really, really pretty. Lots of fine details in this suite. Just pop that in there. All right, so same deal. I've got the name at the front. And then just the embossing folder at the back. And I do keep them in the little pouches because that way I can keep it with the name and sell it easily <laughs> once it's retired. I don't hold on to much retired stuff. I've got a couple of faves, but not much. <laughs> yeah, so stay tuned. I'm going to do a list up soon. <gasps> They're beautiful, aren't they? Mmm. I really like those. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do a list up soon with all of my retiring stuff. So I'll put that up. I'll put a link up. We can't sell it until the start of June, so, um... That's not too far off though now though, is it? It's only a couple of weeks away, I think. I don't even know what date what date it is. Oh, hang on. No, I do. It's like I think it's like the twentieth or something, isn't it? Oh look, more white card stock. <laughs> Vellum. More white. <laughs> so just a couple of packs of white card stock, you know. Should keep me going for a little bit. <laughs> Alright, Ornate Garden. Oh, and I did grab the coloured vellum as well, which is now retiring. Because I thought the coloured vellum, it's got the same colours in it as the Ornate Garden, and I thought that those would go really beautifully together. And then do you know what I found on my... 
on my um, side here. With, oh, I can't find it now. I've got a whole nother pack of this somewhere on my shelf. I saw it just the other day and I thought, oh, I think I've reordered that. Anyway, so now I've got two whole packs of vellum to get through. <laughs> Alrighty. White vellum, coloured vellum. Oh, the punch pack every season. Yeah, I gave that to my son. He loved those. Did you guys see the photos for those? Hey, Christy. Um, I bought Luke the the little um, every season punch pack that was on the clearance rack because he's getting really into his craft now. He's five, so he's really grown up and he likes to craft. He gets it from his mama. Um, and so I bought him the little punch pack and he just thinks that he is so grown up because he's got his own set of punches. It's adorable. And it was like 20 bucks. Bargain. 23 bucks, something like that. Okay. I think I got everything on that order form. <clears throat> Let's have a look at this beautiful paper. I think it has got gold on it. Oh, wow, that is really pretty. I'm going to have to colour that with some blends or something, I think. Gorgeous. And sorry, guys, do excuse my lozenger in my mouth. I've got just a teensy bit of a cough left over from a cold. It's not COVID. We got swabbed. We're safe. And I'm fairly certain I can't pass it to you through the phone. <laughs> So this is mint macaron. How gorgeous is that? I know I'm late to the party with this. It has been out for a little while. But my post took forever to come. And now all of a sudden it's like Christmas. I'm getting packages every single day because they're finally catching up. Oh, guys, this is so pretty. How do I store my DSP? Um, normally it is all in here bit empty at the moment but yeah I just have the packs up on their sides and then I put the little um, six by six packs in here and then on the next shelf down I've got all of my um, glimmer papers and stuff so and then I do all the wipes down there and then I've got the a4 document holders for the colours. So all my scraps go in these same um, packs. I just put the scraps in in on top of the actual colour. So I know what I've got to use. Well, this is absolutely so pretty. This, <laughs> this pattern looks really familiar. Like, I think I might have had a dress or some bed sheets or something in that pattern when I was a kid. Looks really, really familiar. Oh, that's pretty on that side too, isn't it? I do like mint. Mm. These are really pretty papers. I've got to be honest. A lot of the time, if I don't like it in the catalogue and I end up ordering it anyway, because I do paper shares and ribbon shares, so I order everything anyway, and I swear, I fall in love with it. By the time that I've seen it in person, I always fall in love with it, because it just doesn't, photos don't do it justice. They're so pretty. You can fussy cut all those little flowers. Gorgeous. Oh, hi, Kate. Alrighty. So, let me pop that away. 
and let's get the next box out. <clears throat> okay. So this one's a good one. So I obviously forgot that I ordered white card cardstock and I've ordered it like a couple times in a row because I have so much white cardstock now, it's hilarious. Alright, so I'll go through that list afterwards. You guys don't want to go through that. And I think that I have opened my box upside down. My room is sore, guys. Oh, at the moment, yes. <laughs> Not usually. <laughs> When, you know, when you get crafting, it gets a bit messy, but because um, I've got a really small space, I kind of have to keep it tidy. I have to put it away. And my craft desk is in our bedroom, so my husband gets really cranky if it's messy. Hi, Jess. Um, so, yeah, I kind of have to, I can't spread out a lot, so I have to put things away as as I'm using them which I do find easy most of the time like I've got a little basket I shove all of the ribbons in this basket here um, and then I've got the old ink caddy so I just put that stuff away this is my pile of like stuff that I'm currently crafting with and then I've got a box for embellishments and all of the um, punches this is <laughs> Luke made me this. So he gets like all of my old um, bits that I've cut out and not used. And he's got a big pack of sequins that he's going through at the moment as well. So he makes cards and he decorates the insides of the cards. I'm not quite on trend with him. Oh, and that's my stamps. So they're my two bags. They're the um, everything that's retiring. <laughs> so there's not too much stamping stamps on my shelf at the moment and that's my pile of what I've been using and I haven't put it away yet so it's all on there but it's relatively tidy <laughs> oh I know right Jess this new catalogue is so gorgeous so much pretty stuff and this um this is the world of good yeah, World of Good. And this was actually one of the packs that I wasn't going to get. But I ended up getting it because there was a couple things in the suite that I liked. So I ended up just getting the suite because I really like using coordinating pro products together. Let's turn on my bedroom lights. It's starting to get a little bit of shadow in here. But how gorgeous is this? Oh, hello! There's no monsters in your bedroom. You're all right. <laughs> Two daddy ones. Two daddy ones. Daddy ones. Scary ones. Yeah. Oh dear. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. I just, uh, I just look at them. You just looked at them, did you? They're my pets. They're your pet monsters. Oh, well, that's all right then. Yeah. Oh, okay. Stormy and Ellie are your pets. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's your pet. Stormy's my pet, is he? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to hop up on my bed? I'll be done in a minute. Have a look at the paper.
papers. Sit here and help me. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> um, so this paper has a new foil in it, which is brass. And so they've gotten rid of champagne and copper, I think. And they've gotten rid of the black foil as well. So this brass is the new colour that they've bought in. So... Okay. <laughs> so, hang on, hang on. Why don't you have a look at these? So, I don't know if you guys can see the the variation on the paper here. It's like watermarked, kind of. Like a watercolour kind of spritz on it. And then the back has got little world globes they're cute what's that mossy mossy meadow maybe basic black bumblebee cinnamon cider crumb cake early espresso misty moonlight mossy meadow and whisper white so it's really pretty and then we've got the little brass globes. Oh, they've got both sides of the globe. Oh, that's good. Ah, thanks, Jess. <laughs> He's unwrapping my ribbon now for me. But that's okay. <laughs> um, so this one's got compasses on the back. They're pretty cool, hey. I love this. I'm thinking like a zodiac star sign thing would be cool to do for like a class. You'd have to get everyone to buy like half a pack of DSP at least so that they get a full sheet of this in their pack. But how cool would that be? Like a big zodiac um, stars, all the star signs on there. Very cool. Very cool. What's that got on the back? Oh, <clears throat> really faint writing. I can't read any of that. It's too, too small and too weathered. That's in my room. Okay. Very cool. Would make an awesome background though. And you could stamp directly onto that as well. It's so fair. You could stamp stamp on it. Oh, this is cool. Oh, so is this... I wonder, this must be cinnamon cider in the background. Sorry, guys. The light is going in my room. And the sun's going over the other side of the house. How cool is that? Hi, Charlene. Austria, France, lovely, hard to tell what's on there, but they must have um, squished it all together because they've got London here. Anyway. Uh, and bumblebee on the back with the like a bit of a I don't think it's a map I think it's actually the same as this black paper I think it's got the same pattern as that with the washed out bits but you can't see it as much on the black that's cool though Oh, and a cider one of the blue. And this one is similar to 
for that. Bit of different area. This is very cool paper. Very, very cool paper. And this is the beautiful... Oh, hi, Rach. Hi, Mandy. This is Misty Moonlight, the new colour, Misty Moonlight. And I think it's gorgeous. I think it's like, um, it's like a slightly darker version of Marina Mist. And I absolutely loved Marina Mist. So I'm very happy that they've brought back that similar kind of blue, blue-grey hue. I love it. And that's pretty cool as well, isn't it? That paper would actually go awesome with the Pedal to the Metal stamp set with all of the dune buggies and the dirt bike and the um, the ute. That would look really cool with this as like a muddy background, wouldn't it? Oh, in good taste. The wood texture paper. I'm very excited about this. Because <coughs> the we used to have the wood textures, but it was only six inch. So this is awesome that we now have a massive twelve inch pack and forty eight sheets in this one. You get four of each page. So it's two two times the normal pack. And how cool. <gasps> These are gorgeous. Wow. The pink. And it's like paint. It's like thick paint on bricks. So cool. Mm, the old tiles. I love that it's not just wood. That's so cool. Oh, this is like polished concrete. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> Carpet, like a rug. I love that the photos are so good. I actually expect to feel <laughs> some 3D action. Look at this cheeky bunny. He's got my ribbon. He's wrapped it all around his elephant and he thinks he's hilarious. Don't you? Are you funny? Yeah. Yeah. This is my new magenta madness ribbon. <laughs> A whole roll of it wrapped around an elephant. <laughs> yeah, you're funny. You're funny, aren't you? Oh, this is so cool. Stop bumping me, you cheeky brat. I like this too. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, that's like a bigger... Oh, not quite as rough. But similar. Similar to that paper. So, so cool. What? Uh, so I thought that this was like four pages of each design. But there's actually like a whole ton of different, there's two pages of each design. And there's 12, 24 different patterns. What? That is crazy. And they're all so cool. I think I'm going to use a ton of this paper. What's wrong with you? <coughs> so if you haven't seen the Magenta Madness, this is the new Magenta Madness ribbon. <laughs> Oh, hi, Chris. <laughs> yeah, it's just a thing of ribbon. It's fine. I can roll it back onto the onto the 
the thing later and I do shares anyway so it'll all get chopped up but yeah keeps them occupied <laughs> these papers are so cool oh look at that okay I am very much in love with that paper Oh, the brass foil sheets. So this is the the brass foil that goes with. <laughs> this is the brass foil, which you guys can't really see it very well on this. You're just getting pictures of me. There you go. It's almost showing you the colour. Um, and that goes with the new, this paper. With, that's got the brass in it so that's the foil to match the brass that's in here but there's also some little brass um, embellishments and stuff as well there you go what have we got oh forever greenery oh. hi Angie this paper is so so beautiful Love, 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 love. I've seen lots of this, lots of samples with this. It's just so beautiful, so, so beautiful. This is gorgeous. <gasps> Little. It's nice for free DSP. I'm not quite sure what you mean, Angie. This is gorgeous. I like the... Oh, what colour is in this? Is that navy? Garden green, just jade. Paper as pretty peacock. Shaded spruce. And soft sea foam. Pretty peacock, maybe? Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. It looked more blue. I guess the pretty peacock does have a fair amount of blue in it. But it would probably go, probably go really well with navy as well. Hi, Jasmine. I'm the same, Angie. You know, I never wanted to buy any of the green inks or the green card stock when I first started with stamping up. But, oh, it's nice for green DSP. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, stamping up has definitely changed my opinion of green. I absolutely love, oh, that is stunning. I love green now. That's mummy, yeah. It's, well, it's, I'm doing a video for all the all the stamping up fans to see all these pretty new things that I got. Forever gold specialty design paper. Oh, I wonder if this is the the foil. <gasps> wow. I'm going to be super careful with this. How beautiful is that? So this is gold foil. Oh good, they've got little sheets, tissue paper in between. And do you know what I love about this? So the old, um, the other pages that they've done like this previously, I didn't want to get them because I didn't want to have to cut them out. But these ones, and I don't know, maybe they did it on the last one and I just didn't pick it up, but these ones just pop out. So you don't have to cut anything. And even the bigger sheets at the back, let me find some. <coughs> Here we go. How cool are those? And these just pop out like you can take it out like a 
memories and more card. That you just take the whole sheet out, like it just pops off. You don't need to worry about cutting it or anything. So that is fantastic. And I love, I love a bit of metallic on my cards, a bit of gold or some shimmer or you know some bling of some sort. So I'm super excited to use those. What's up, noisy bum? You got my stamp. Yeah. They're the dirty ones. Don't put them on Ellie. You'll get Ellie dirty. Yeah. That's okay. Right. I think that's a box of catalogues. <laughs> oh, so these are the new colours. Here we go. Check out this. How gorgeous are they? And I actually really love the cinnamon. So this is another thing that Stamping Up has changed for me because I didn't like brown either when I first joined. Um, but it's a really good staple colour to have. And this is a cool tan colour. We do not have a colour like this. So I think it's a really good mix in the browns and greys that we've already got to get this awesome tan cinnamon cider colour. I think it's fantastic. And I love this this jade. That's beautiful. Pink. You got me. <laughs> that doesn't even need a word. Um, the marina mist. Not marina mist. Misty moonlight. You know I'm going to be calling this marina mist forever, right? And the bumblebee. Which kind of reminds me of, uh, was it called Hello Honey? I think when I first joined the In Colours, there was a, there was a something honey and it was very similar to this goldy, goldy yellow colour. So I did really like that colour. So anyway, that's exciting. <clears throat> Got to find them home on my shelf. Now we get the good stuff. Woohoo! Envelopes, exciting, <laughs> necessary. <laughs> oh dear, excuse me. Where to begin? Where to begin? Look at all these ribbons. That's my, <laughs> of my magenta. And for anyone who has just jumped on, my three-year-old did this. It didn't come like this in the box. It came neatly wrapped and beautiful. Uh, I'll, I'll sort that out later. <laughs> Cheeky rascal. This is why they say you shouldn't work with children or animals, huh? <laughs> Okay, so what else have we got? Blue. Oh, yep, yeah, so they're the five. So the pink, that's all a mess. So magenta. Hi, Lynn. Misty Moonlight. Just Jade. Bumblebee. 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 And don't fall off that chair, will you? And what's this one called? Cinnamon cider. Oh, you'll remember that one, won't you, Ange? <laughs> Cinnamon. Um, that'll be an easy name for you to remember. <laughs> That's my spare one. And the bumblebee gingham ribbon. I, I wanted to compare it and I realised afterwards that it would be... Oh, hi, Camilla. Yeah, I know, right, Matthew? Uh, yeah, the new colours are beautiful, aren't they, Lynn? So I wanted to compare these two because I thought that they would be the same, but I realised afterwards when I looked closer at the picture in the catalogue that this one was much wider than what this one was. But they're still a really pretty pair together, aren't they? Hi, Alice. And this is the new twine, which I'm super excited about because it's actually white twine and 
Misty Moonlight twine wrapped in there together. But you can unwind them so you can use them separately. And they're, they've got silver through them as well. Silver metallic threads through them as well. So I'm super excited about that. Love my twine. And then this one is plain white. And what's this one? Oh, that's not from the pack. Right. So those three come in the pack together. <laughs> that's why I'm getting confused. <laughs> and this is the espresso. This is um, faux suede. Faux suede. Pull a little bit out. Where's the end of it? There we go. Oh, that is really soft. It does actually feel like suede. That's cool. Oh, it's got that little bit of fairiness about it. That is really cool. That is awesome. Okay, I'm impressed. I wasn't sure about the brown ribbon, <laughs> but I'm impressed. <laughs> Hello, honey. Yeah, that's what I thought. Thank you for confirming that for me, Camilla. All right, so this one is vanilla, and then this is gold twine. So that's pretty cool. I've seen um, Kayla has been using this on a lot of her projects. Kayla does beautiful, beautiful projects. And this one, it's a bit like a bandage. That is really cool. I wonder you could do some really funny get well cards with that or um, like a mummy wrapped up. Oi, put my side table back. Rat bag? Heavy. Yeah, I know it's heavy. It's a side table. Can you put it back, please? Yeah. You're such a brat. <laughs> um, yeah, you could do a really cool Halloween card with this. Very, very cool. I'm fairly certain that that's not what my side table is meant to be used for some sort of ab exercises I think <laughs> Such... <sighs> so I'm super excited they're going back to daycare next week <laughs> and in all honesty it has been awesome having them home and they have had to learn to get along and they are now um, because I've got a five-year-old as well for those of you who don't watch me regularly but, yeah, they're, they're actually getting along together really well. Sorry, I've got to rescue my side table. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. What else have we got in here? <laughs> no, he doesn't have any trouble amusing himself. Roller, roller, roller. <laughs> so these are part of the... This suite with the leaves. Oh, they are gorgeous. So the little green ones, they're actually really similar uh, to the pink. What did I do with my pink ones? These. Do you remember these pink ones from the holiday catalogue? Oh, not holiday, mini. Mini catalogue. So just because these ones are bigger, they'll be easier to see. But the, the green ones are the same as this kind of shape. And then the white ones, or clear ones, are round like little dewdrops. But the green ones have got that, that faceted gem shape to them. That is cool. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, they're just upside down. Yeah, that is cool. If I bring them out. 
Kim, if I can get it up the right way. There we go. How cool are they? And then the little, the little white ones are just little round, like dewdrop ones. <laughs> I know. I'll send Ryan round to open up all of your ribbons for you. <laughs> I'm very happy with those. I like those. I like those a lot. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, these are the memories and more cards. So they come... Oh, these are flowers for every season, is what they're called. But they're in all the colours. The new in colours. Yeah, so I didn't open that ribbon for him either. He opened it himself. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that. They're so pretty. They've got little spotties on the inside. They are super cute. And then the cards have... So it's just a 10-pack of cards. It's not huge. That's good. And this cute little frame. How adorable is that? So you can stick the memories and more cards in them. And I have seen on someone else's demonstration, I can't remember who. Oh, that's not going to go back in there now. I'll do that later. Um, yeah, I saw someone else showing in the card just in inside that little white um, border really cutely. Forever Flourishing dies. So I did end up getting, <laughs> hello cinnamon, <laughs> we've got, there's Toby, keeping, keeping an eye on what's happening outside, keeping us safe. <laughs> hey, Oh, those are so pretty. Look, they've got little um, embossing marks. So they cut and then they leave the little emboss marks in them as well. That's really pretty. <laughs> oh, ridiculous. So those are really, really pretty these little strings of berries those you know there's that succulent plant um <laughs> hello shiloh <laughs> um there's that succulent plant that's got those little strings of beads that hang down off it you could totally make that i don't know if that's what it's meant for but that's what it reminds me of <coughs> excuse my cough guys it is, we're just at the end of this crappy little cold that we caught. So where's the stamp set for that one? Hmm. That's the beginner brochures. I don't know. Oh, right there. <laughs> so that's the matching stamp set. How pretty is that? And that's got the um, distinctive stamps in it too, I think. Yeah. So that is going to just be so pretty. Oh, and their mirror image. A little splatter. I love a good splatter. Oh, I like that. You can do this. That's lovely. That's really lovely. Oh, oh, goodies, goodies, goodies. So I ended up getting one of each of the, <laughs> the four that were available. Hi, Dee. What's in this one? Many medallions. 
What's the mini medallions from? Oh, mini mates. So I ended up getting this one with my 50% off item, which was good because I was just, I was only going to get the stamp set. And then I figured that if I could get it for 50% off, I'm pretty much getting the dies for free. So I might as well get the dies, right? <laughs> so that is really cool. And it's got a happy anniversary in it as well. I've only got a couple of stamp sets that say happy anniversary in them. So I have to keep using the same sentiment every time I make an anniversary card. So I've got to improve on that. I've got to improve on my selection of stamp sets based on... Um, the sentiments as well as the images because I just like the flowers and I just buy all of the pretty flower stamps and then I don't have any sentiments that are useful. <laughs> oh did you? Yeah it's pretty cool. I do actually like this. I'm just not a big fan of like really fussy fussy stuff but you know I'm sure I'll use it right. <laughs> She says that she's cleaning out bucket loads of retired stuff that was untouched. Oh, the world map dies. I've seen some really cool samples with this with this map. Oh, that is oh, that is cool. That is really cool. And I do really like. So you can do um, a circle with the colour and then you could do like a metallic, either the brass or silver or gold and make like a matching stand for it. So it could be like a little, um, you know, bit of bling on your globe. On oh, the feather as well, the feather is cool. Oh, it's a feather pen. That is awesome. A little inkwell with it. That is super cute. Oh, of course, because it's got this gorgeous writing. You can put a little feather at the end of it. Like you've just written that note. So cool. I like that. I like that a lot. And the little swirls are cute. <coughs> Deary me, I'm so sick of this bloody cough. But at least now I can speak in a sentence at a time because previously I was um, coughing so much. And that's some of the peekaboo peach ribbon off the clearance rack. I had like a dollar fifty of rewards left over. So <laughs> and just grabbed this. And then I, I've got a whole basket full of stuff that um, when I do classes and stamp camp and stuff, we do bingo. I always do like bingo games. And um, they just get to choose something out of my basket of stuff. So that'll go in the basket. How cool are these? I don't usually like the, um, the wooden embellishments. Like I buy them, but then I don't end up using them. But I've got high hopes for this set. I think they're really pretty. And I have actually embossed them previously. I used to have them hanging off my scissors, but the string broke. But I had the the old little flowers that we had, and I heat embossed it with silver, and then I tied it onto my scissors with a bit of the old um, metallic thread uh, twine, and it was super cute. And it meant that, you know, when everyone's at class and they've all got scissors that look the same, you can tell. I could tell which scissors were mine. So, anyway... I'm excited for those. I'm hoping that I use them. <laughs> you got to hold me accountable, guys. <laughs> Hi, Annie. Thanks for watching. Okay. What's the set? Oh, the sunflowers. <gasps> How gorgeous are the sunflowers? Oh, my gosh. I am super excited to make some cards with the sunflowers. How beautiful, how beautiful are they? And I haven't even gone through the paper yet. So this is, that's the, 
Oh, and the Memories and More cards as well. So they're really cute. Really cute. And they're, I think it was the smaller ones that fit inside the border on the cards. The little cards. Like that. And you can use one of these ones to fit inside here. And have a little border. Super cute. So easy. So easy to make something that looks pretty. That, you know, doesn't take too much time and effort. And this is the pretty paper. So pretty. The dots. This is the cider. So this paper uses all of the new ink colours, by the way. Um, that looks like Poppy, though, doesn't it? Is that Poppy Parade? What have we got in here? Oh, yeah, Poppy Parade is in that, in the mix as well. So, Bumblebee, Cider, Just Jade, Magenta Madness, Misty Moonlight, and Poppy Parade, and Whisper White. So that's a really good mix of colours, isn't it? That red just pops. I love using bright red on a pale pink. Super cute combo. The daisies. So you could totally fussy cut all of these and just have a little sentiment, something in the background. Done. So easy. And the blue. That is such a 90s. <laughs> that is such a 90s print. <laughs> <laughs> blue with the with the big yellow daisies on it. <laughs> that is stunning. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Okay, that's a favorite. And you could totally fussy cut those flowers as well. Love that. Does the daisy dye cut the DSP? That's a good question then. Maybe this one might fit some of them. Don't know. It probably says in the catalogue, maybe, I would think. That is beautiful. So pretty. Oh, and look at this. This is really similar to that other paper with the leaves on it. The Forever Greenery. That is really pretty. Really, really pretty. And bright pink, pink roses. That magenta is a cool, cool colour. Love it. Just absolute pop pop of colour. So you guys have a favourite from the new in colours? What's your favourite new in colour? Or old in colour? Ooh, let's mix it up. I can't hear you, Ryan. Can you yell a little louder? <laughs> what is it, sweet pea? What have you got in your mouth? Get that out your mouth. What's this? No, leave that alone. That's it. I'll fix it. What's wrong with it? I've broken it. You've broken it? Yeah. Where does it go on to? Where's the little... Where's the clip? How does it go on? Oh, it sits on here. Okay, done. Okay. Oh, let's see. What have you guys written? Cinnamon, Just Jade, Just Jade, Magenta, Cinnamon, Just Jade. <laughs> what? No votes for the Misty Moonlight. Deary me. I'm going to have to love that one up. Give it, give it some extra attention. <laughs> oh. Check out that. So pretty. <coughs> yeah. 
some more leafy patterns. That's almost a little bit Christmassy. There is a, a red Christmassy pattern in here, isn't there? Haven't gotten to it yet. And the blue one. This one's a. Shut up. Yeah. This one's a bit like the, the boho medley. Looks like the same sort of um, colours in there. Oh, nice little brown stripe. That's cute. Cinnamon stripe. Oh, there's the Christmas one with the poinsettia. Yeah, that's cute. Those are a cute, cute combo of colours, aren't they? Jade and Poppy Parade. Oh, and that's pretty as well. Oh, so this is like stamped off cinnamon. I really like that. That cream colour. That is beautiful. Oh. <coughs> Deary me. That is gorgeous paper. You be careful jumping off there. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Yeah, so Lynn, I don't reckon that these dyes actually fit any of the prints in the paper. I think it's all different. But luckily we have this stunning stamp set that you can use. And this kind of looks a bit like a wreath. Don't you think? The outside of a wreath. You could totally make a wreath out of that. You weren't careful. You all right? No. No. Too far away. You were too far away. What happened? Did you fall? I fall on my head. On your head? No. Oh no! Let me give you a kiss. No, no kisses. You're gonna jump again. Yeah. Just give it a rub. You saw a boat. You did a boat jump. That's a... No, a boat. A jump. bolt jump. No, a boat jump. A boat jump. A boat ramp. No, a boat. No? A boat. <laughs> this kid's going to kill himself before he gets to primary. Oh, these are cute, aren't they? No. Uh, oh, no, there is four. There's four sheets. I'm just okay. holding two of them together. So four sheets of each. I love that. It's like Yay. denim. <clears throat> if you've got the pocket dies, okay. the pocket stamps and dies, you could make a super cute denim, like, jeans back pocket out of that. That would be really cute. Did you? <coughs> Do you like me? This one's got writing on it. Let me see if I can. Oh, it's in another language. Oh, hang on. Oh, to love what we do and share what we love. <laughs> so it's it's our motto, written in a whole bunch of different languages. I think that's cool. Can you see it here? To love what we do and share what we love. That is super cute. Love that. And what's this one? A wood grain. That's cool. And then the cinnamon. So they're all the same patterns in the five different ink colours. But that is cool. Very, very cool.
Very, very cool. Well, stop jumping off there if you keep hurting yourself. Stop jumping. <laughs> Bloody rat bag of a child. <laughs> He's lucky he's cute. I'm okay. <laughs> You're okay? Alright. Good stuff. Oh, so this is the new Comfort and Hope stamp set. It wasn't actually on the pre-order, um, but it was a, um, a freebie that you earn if you sold four or more of the um, Poppy Parade. No, not Poppy Parade. What was it called? Painted Poppies stamp set. Um, so it will be in the new annual catalogue though. You can purchase it. But that's the reason why I've got it early because it wasn't it wasn't on the um, pre-order for any demos watching. But how cool is that? Know that I love and care about you. <laughs> Sending a paper hug. <laughs> That's cute. And these actually look a bit like these. <laughs> cute. <coughs> the gold hoops. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that, Camilla. Like a little, um, uh, like a dream catcher. Very, very cute. I do want to try that. I do want to try that. I've seen that. And I just, I love gold and I really love circles as opposed to other shapes. So I've got a thing for circles. So I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely use these adorable little circles and we'll have to see what other fun ideas that we can come up with them. But even something like this, like I'm automatically drawn to that more than something like this, even though these are gorgeous. I'll probably end up using them all anyway, but, you know, I've just got to think for circles. So I do I do really like these, and I'm excited to do a, a dream catcher with them as well. I think that's a really cool idea. Um, uh, these are the little, the um, new little in-colour dots. Very, very cute. Oh, dearie me. This cough is annoying. Oh, memories are more with the world of good as well. That is sure to have some really cute sentiments in there as well. I need to use my memories and more cards more. I always buy them because they're gorgeous and then I don't end up using them. So that needs to be a thing. I need to make some cards with my memories and more cards. Yeah. Oh, all right. See you later, Camilla. Have a good day. So these are part of the World of Good Suite, and they're like little buckles and little um, corner, little corner pieces. And they don't actually... We'll stop jumping off there. Well, if you keep jumping off, you're silly. Stop jumping. No, no more. No more. No. So, yeah, they just you just glue them on with a little glue dot. But I mean, you could wrap the ribbon through. <laughs> He's fake falling. <laughs> Scrapbooking, yes, totally, Lynn. I shouldn't say no. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? It's like, what's in that tiny little box? Well, no, stop jumping. If you're hurting yourself, you're not allowed to jump. Stop hurting yourself. Come on. <laughs> how adorable are these? They're tiny. They are so cute. And they're the same as the um, previous domes that we had at Christmas time. They've got the, the adhesive on both sides. Very, very cute. 
Very cute. I like those. So this must be the punch. It's a shake it own punch. And that's the stamp set. They are pretty. <gasps> Do you know what else would probably fit? I reckon you could stick these in the tops of the little shakers as well. Those would be cute. You'd even put some of these in there. Like have a little... Maybe not quite for, not quite the right proportion. But that would be cute, wouldn't it? Oh, that is a good match. I like that. I like that a lot. <coughs> Deary me. Mm. I'm excited. Okay. Oh, how cool is this? The old world paper like scrunched up old parchment sort of paper. Yeah. Wow. Look at the detail on that. Do you know what? That would make an awesome stormy sea. Or even like a rendered concrete wall. Ooh. Maybe mud? Like, you know, um, when the, not so, or well, maybe mud, but also maybe when the, when the earth is really dry and cracked. Got lots of cool ideas for that. Come here. Let me It does look like leather. You're right, Angie. So many cool ideas for that. I wonder if you could even do like a um like a a stained glass window. Not not like ones that they have in the church that have got lots of colors. But <laughs> did you live in it like in the 80s? We had a big window in the front of our house. It uh, might have been like a 70s house, 70s or 80s, early 80s. No, it would have been a 70s house because we moved in mid-80s. Um, but it had this big, like, yellow glass window at the front near the door and it was like this sort of... Um, He's given it to you and it wouldn't come out. Yeah, so it's it yeah, the glass plane. Yeah. Oh not not frosted. Well I suppose it was a bit frosted. You couldn't see through it. But it was like a almost I guess the bumblebee. You like it, do you? Okay. It's good. Now he's gonna eat all my bits. <laughs> Anyway, lots of really cool ideas with that. There's that that is a really cool embossing folder. That is another thing that I buy. I buy lots and lots of embossing folders and I don't use them as much as I should. <laughs> I have plans this year to be a bit better user of my purchased products. <laughs> Oh my poor lonely stamps. They get so excited when they get bought and bought home and given a place on my shelf and then they just sit there. <laughs> my son. 
They are very cute kids. They are adorable kids, and that is why they get away with so much mischief. <laughs> oh, and another embossing folder. And this one looks like denim, so this one must be part of the um, good, good taste. Well, yeah, tasteful textile. So, yeah, I would say probably good taste. Hi, Alicia. That kind of looks a bit like snake skin. Or not quite the old hound's tooth pattern. But yeah, when you see it on here, it looks like denim, doesn't it? Or like fabric-y. You're right. You decided you don't like it? Yeah. Just put it in the bin. Go in the bathroom and put it in the bin. <laughs> the big paper drops a bit strong. They're the butter mint bowl ones, but <laughs> he's only three. <laughs> You spat it out in the in the bin? Yeah. Good boy, well done. What else have we got? Oh the two little ones. Yeah, they're beautiful. So pretty. Oh, okay, cool. So I was wondering how big they were if they both came in that pack together. <laughs> but they're both they're both that size. They were just stacked in the in the package, so that's good. But yeah, they are both really, really beautiful. I mean, this one is stunning with the floral. This is such a cool geometric pattern, or even it looks like like knitting, like a knitted blanket or a knitted jumper. Very, very, very cool. I like both of those. Missing go. Missing go. You're Missing a seagull. Go. You're a seagull. Oh. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. <laughs> <coughs> I was a little bit worried then when I saw the front of this pack that they were actually only this big. <laughs> Yeah, the new the new machines will be really cool. I'm looking forward to the mini one especially. The I think the mini one will be awesome because um for class to take it to class because I normally cut all the big stuff at home, but you know if there's a little stamp that people just need to like stamp a flower and then cut it out with the matching die then you know you can use the little mini one at class oh and I've seen so many beautiful uh, I've seen so many beautiful off my throat please Hey, no, that's not a drinking bottle. Go get your go get your bottle from out in the lounge room. Go get your drink bottle. Alright, give me two minutes. I'm almost done. Look, my box is almost empty. You've been very patient. Um, I've seen some really, really pretty samples made with this. Yeah. They're all good. They're um the chooks have all molted and nice and new and fluffy feathers ready for winter. And the cat is a rat bag. He suits the rest of the family very well. <laughs> We've also got a dog. We've got a chocolate Labrador. And he's also an idiot. So we all work together well. <laughs> How gorgeous are these? So, so, so pretty. You could use either of them on their own, but they look gorgeous when they're stacked. So beautiful. So
so beautiful and so many different um, ways that you can use them different color coordination combinations and different um, techniques like whether you use watercolor paper with them or you know oh for goodness sake just got that in there there we go <laughs> oh the butterfly dies the butterfly dies drove me crazy at stamp camp Angie. Oh my gosh. I was really happy to give that stamp set away with the dies. <laughs> Sarah Sullivan took that one and she loves it, which is great. But I never, ever, ever wanted to see those butterfly dies again. I cut so many of them at stamp camp. <laughs> and this is the last. The last set. And tasteful touches. Oh, yes. How cool are these? They're all double-edged, like the the nested. Oh, I wonder if that one fits in the nested. The nested dies. How cool are these? That looks like an old frame. That's beautiful. like a like a big old mirror mm, have it up this way it looks like the mirror out of um snow white <laughs> was it snow white mirror mirror on the wall very very cool and i love these these little squiggly lines with the stitching either side and this one's got a little zigzag pattern on it so beautiful Oh yeah, and they all they all fit on they all fit on one sheet to go through. Yeah, that's what Kate Kate Bernardi uh, found that. Oh, thank you, Angie. <laughs> we do have a lot of fun. Hi, Kylie. Those dyes are really, really beautiful. Really beautiful. I'll have to find that picture that that Kate shared. Thanks for mentioning that, Lynn. I'll have to I'll share it onto this page here as well so that you guys can see what we're talking about. Because there was a the way that they're all laid out, so that they all fit on one page and you could die cut all of the labels in one go. So it's a clever trick. Oh I've got butterfingers. What is going on? And those go with this lovely stamp set which is beautiful sentiments but some really cool um pictures and the feather very 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 pretty love that big flower that would be good to color in wouldn't it because it's already got all the shading in it makes it really easy to color them in when they've already got all the shading in it <laughs> You can totally cheat with that. And that's really cute as well. I do like that. Hi, Jenny. Well, I think that's it, guys. So I hope that you've enjoyed my um, unboxing, re receival of my pre-order. I did get lots of good stuff. I'm super excited for the kids to go back to daycare and kindy next week and to have a little bit of time to start crafting again because as you can see with this little uh, Maximus Bratticus, as we like to call him, um, you know, it's it's just a bit hard to get some time to um to craft and my husband's been working really long hours so as much as he is brilliant at taking the kids um 
by the time that he gets home, because he's been working like 12 hour, he's away 12 hours a day. So he leaves at like six or seven in the morning and he gets home about seven, seven thirty at night. <clears throat> and so by the time that he comes home, I'm exhausted and I can't be bothered crafting. I just need a good glass of wine. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can, can understand me. <laughs> so, um, I think I put, did I put my other stamp set in here? You need help, do you? Okay, all right, I'll come. I think I've, I've put my, my Ben Anza Buddy stamp set somewhere. I think I've mixed it up with all my new stuff, but I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'll find it later. It's so hard. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Anyway, oh, get my hand off the camera. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for joining me for a little crafting video. And, um... Hopefully I've got some some good projects for you. I'm trying to move where I don't have a halo. Um, but yeah, I will hopefully be back on top of getting some crafting in and posting some stuff soon. I do have a couple of cards um, that I've made that I don't think that I've posted on my blog and my Facebook page yet. So I'll try over the next couple of days to get those up. And then hopefully we'll start making some stuff with this gorgeous new... Um, box of products so I'm really excited oh thank you Angie yeah it's growing out a bit this is I actually swapped my um, part over <laughs> so that bit that short bit underneath is the that's the bit that used to be shaved so it's grown out a fair bit <laughs> when I had my one half of my head shaved <laughs> But yeah, getting there. Just gotta gotta go and get it. Anyway. All right, guys. Well, you guys have a lovely evening, and I will talk to you soon, and hopefully have some cool new projects to show you with all those awesome goodies. But if you need a copy of the catalog, if you don't have a demo whom you already order through, hit me up for a co copy of the catalog. I'm also doing paper shares and ribbon shares, so those are open to demos and, um, you know, stamping up fans alike, <laughs> so let me know, again, if you don't already have someone who you order through, um, or, you know, your upline or uh, your normal demo is not offering shares, then you're more than welcome to come jump on with mine, so I'm ordering those on the 3rd of June, and then again on the 30th of June, so it's up to you which which slot you'd like to go in and it includes all the papers and all the new ribbons and you get a quarter of each pack and a quarter of each roll so all the prices and the and the dates and everything are on the event under my events in this page here my Jessie Holton stamping up page just hop on over to the events and you can see my um, paper and ribbon shares events in there with all the details and let me know if you've got any questions because I'm always happy to help um, and my next stamp camp is in September thank goodness it is still going ahead I'm really excited that that looks as though it should all be good to go by the time September rolls around and we do still have a couple of beds left so if you'd like to join us let me know um, and because I'm going to start prepping projects soon I've got a new plan this year not to leave it all to the last minute so <laughs> which has been the same plan that I've had previous years I just haven't adhered to, adhered to it <laughs> but um, yeah anyway that's the plan so let me know if you're interested in coming to stamp camp I would love to have you along with me and the girls we always have a really good time and what else hopefully classes will start back I'm thinking the end of June so uh, there might be uh, limited capacity just for the social distancing at first but we'll see how we go but that's the plan end of June to start doing some some stamping classes again and catch up with all you beautiful ladies in person because I've totally missed you guys but I think that's it I think that's all I got for you right now I will bring some stamping love to you soon and I hope that you're all taking care and um, reach out and let me know if there's anything that you need or if you, even if you just need a chat I'm always available 
and I will talk to you guys soon. You have a good day. Hey, Rebecca. I'm just, just logging off. I'll catch you again soon. Bye.